So chat, just letting you guys know, I'm not going to be nearly as interactive or chatty with chat probably during the course of this. I'm going to try to be, but you know, I don't do multiplayer things like this too often and we're sharing the microphone and trying to keep up with conversations while also muting this and, and unmuting that. So just letting you guys know that my focus is going to be on the group that we're playing with. Uh, please know that I will be reading everything that you guys are putting in the chat. I just might not respond to it quite like I'm you're used to me doing. King Lewin, Cetra the Imperishable. Always the toughest for me to decide. Bertone is not the flashiest, although the Hippogriff Cavalry at Endgame is something to see for sure. Bonuses versus Demons of Chaos. Warriors of Chaos, Undead, and Greenskins. We discovered a major economy booster and basically a different slash, I don't know, proper way of playing Bretonia that I somehow had missed over hundreds of hours of thousands of hours of playing this game. Tomb Kings, Cetra the OG, the Thunderdome. Turn one is great for both of both Bretonia and Tomb Kings though. They can get two battles in a piece that immediately gets Cetra into the Curse of Undeath, which allows him to regenerate from that point on, which is probably, in my opinion, the most significant levels out of what you get in the beginning. <sighs> Do we know what everyone else is playing? Not yet. Everyone's revealing what they're doing. Fairlight and I have still said that we're filling, uh, basically meaning we're, we're waiting to see what factions they're doing. We want to have representation of good and evil and neutral. C Cetra isn't exactly evil, but he is, you know. Also, it's about proximity to where people will be in a multiplayer game. You know, if, if I wind up playing Tomb Kings and nobody is down there in the desert, is that just a good start for me or is that kind of lame? I'm not really sure. We could branch out, of course. Tomb Kings are going to be spending much of their time just securing the desert and protecting it. Bretonia will be doing much the same for Bretonia, but I think uh, Bretonia actually has a better propensity for building tall. Manfred, your backup evil filler. Manfred is my backup evil filler. But all I know is that there's, um, well, I guess what I don't, I don't know what Cream's playing. Cream's not playing ogres anymore. He's playing something else. So I don't really know. I fully expect siege traits as well as wound recovery time actually being important. I, I I just see the legendary lords getting killed from time to time, more so than previously. Cream said Beastmen. Ah, uh, well, he's gonna do Torox then, right? Like, who, who would, else would you play? The, one of the reasons why I was thinking Bretonia is the new economy stuff, like I was saying. There's also a lot of things like uh, steel technology, which is... Oh, so, oh, so nice. Oh, so very nice. Chivalric Code is actually pretty good at the beginning because you're, you're adding that onto your extra armies are going to be carrying around. Okay, jumping in, guys. Hello, hello. Uh, okay, God well, you're it. one minute late, so it doesn't count. <laughs> ah. no, no, you're tangent. one minute. Tangent says hi. One minute, one minute. Slowly tangent. Sorry. My bad. No, no, you don't get a star. I don't get a start? No, you don't get a star. Oh, a star? A star. Well, that's, no star for you. that's even worse. Hello, friends. Hey, guys. Hello. <laughs> so we made our our final decisions. Yes, I'm I'm I've committed myself to uh, Luther now. I'm, I really enjoy his area. It's Torox thump and hump time. All right. So which what do we what do we got here? We got Vampire Coast, Exiles of Corn. Is that Valkia or is that Scarbrand? That's, That's Scarbrand. Uh, oh my goodness. Valkia is in the northwest. Warhorse, host of the apocalypse, Reichland. So Warhead of the One the Eye. On, uh, I think actually I like the idea of having one high elf, Bretonia, Empire, and Dwarves against what's out there. All oh right. my gosh, you guys are already teaming? I thought that there was going to be well, like, no, but come on, you guys naturally fall where it goes. We're, we're the ones that don't want the world to end. Like, that's they're, 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 like, you guys no, want the world to end, we don't. The Empire don't working the together just to makes end. sense. I take offense to that. Burke, as long as you've got booty, you don't care. Oh. All right, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go with Bretonia. This, this, this is a clean Empire. spread. Welcome to the Thunderdome! <laughs> Do your first things. Great for the order was all. I almost got to play the game. I, I, I... I've learned from our past experiments to just not even press anything for the first two minutes of the turn. I'm just gonna wait. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Same. Same. <laughs> uh, yeah, down there, yeah, bud. But. How many of you guys are? Are you guys going economy? Or are you guys going going for troops? I'm going for the economy. I'm going for a bunch of 
zombies with pistols. I'm building my tier two landmark and spamming English longbowmen. Oh my. Oh my god. Don't forget vows. Don't need them yet for this no, one. Get... Well, it's 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 because my my uh I actually wanted to play Dark Elves. I thought Malaketh and everyone looked really cool. And uh my my parents were were you know, D and D's the devil kind of people a little bit at the beginning. So, so they they thought that the knights looked like much nicer characters, and so they they bribed me with a with a couple figures for them, rather than because uh, I was going to spend my 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 uh, money that I had from doing chores and all that on like buying a unit of executioners, and they didn't like that. So they bribed me with Bretonians, and uh, then I read the lore on them, and I'm like, wow, these guys are really not that nice. Back then, those models actually had nudity. Apparently. Hey, hey, don't, don't you know. target me like no. that, Bert. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> don't, you, yeah, don't you come at me like that. Also, <laughs> I don't even know if there's a Nurgle down here, but somehow everything is plagued and I'm really confused. Oh, that started oh, happening. I, no I noticed today when I started playing a little bit that down south, uh, plagues just started happening like crazy. Gonna move our generals over here now. Stack them in. Skull spiders. God damn it, Nurgle! Get your rancid ass plagues out of my house. This personal hygiene leaves a lot to be desired in the chaos realms. All right, chat. We need a plan. We got to make sure that the rest of Bretonia does not fall. The first couple of turns are actually pretty darn seriously bad for Bretonia. So we're going to need to either do trespassing or do some aggressive campaigns east to defend the lands. How do we do this without pissing each other, pissing off our neighbors the most? What are you guys thinking? What I should be doing is dispatching this hero to keep tabs on stuff and start using steel technology. I think that's what we it need to do. Although at 1,000 upkeep, I could every five You're turns looking. force the confederation. They don't like that. Right? Ridiculous. Technically? Maybe that's what I should do. I should try and keep this upkeep where it's at. Maybe do some treasure hunting. Stay the course with economy, maybe. Leonice and Aquitaine. I'm nervous, honestly, I'm nervous about taking Aquitaine because I think it's going to be... A really big pain with the lizard men. But let me see. Since I'm on track to now actually be able to do this, I think I'd rather have Carcassonne. But these guys are closer to me. Yeah, let's see. We gotta we gotta save up money for it though. Maybe even trim our upkeep. No treasure in the water either. That's unfortunate. Normally there's like a treasure by now. Because they don't start us at war with Marienburg, going for Marienburg right now seems very difficult. Empire play might not like it. I mean, maybe, maybe not. Man, I really need to be going out and using steel technology, though. I should also... Oh, yeah, we don't have the money for that, man. Because I just paid for the other thing. So, let's go... I feel like it's not letting me send her out. I'm a little nervous about this. Get rid of one of your army. Supply lines are eating you up. There are no supply lines for Bretonia. There actually are no supply lines. It's getting lords to be leveled early. Although, I, I do think this might be a little bit too aggressive. Yeah, I'm wondering if I could force confederation while racing through here to try and help them out. But I don't think they're going to let me in. You guys see the problem that I'm having? You know what, though? Sisters of Twilight I actually think I might kick this guy out, in. though. Which is a shame, because oh, it's a waste of a few hundred gold, but... I think it is gonna... Oh, it is early really game be needed. So where do we go for... Kind of converge together in like a, experience now. Kind of marks the spot we can, I'm, I'm, I'm basically waiting yeah. for... It's like right a there. faction to mess with Marienburg, and then maybe to take now it during the, fight me. the craziness. And it's good. The other option yeah. is Make this, sure chat. Do I just go to Castle no, Artois and take it by victory. force? Because okay. the big problem I'm having is that the Empire there might wind up taking Gisero. Exactly hey, Crazy so Haze, what's up, pal? Victory, you click auto, you can actually end up losing. Because there is like a tiny little bit of... Oh yes, I'm certainly keeping tabs on the on Albion. aren't dying, so I think I'll be alright. I certainly am. Do I think I could easily take the castle? Marienburg? No. Castle Artois? Possibly. Dep but we have to keep in mind that no, we're going to have people messing with us, there, too. I, I could I take Castle it. Artois easily. Because, see, they don't have any relation to each other. Okay. Artois is actually by itself. I have a shaman and a 
Now, the bigger question is, is do I load up on knights before I head over? I feel like I probably should. I don't want to kill my upkeep, though. We still have a building slot available in Corone as well. Oh, I should probably be doing the clay pit. You can see the has one settlement against, you can see like, the issue. bullets of chaos on the edge here. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. No, uh, Bretoni doesn't get gunpowder units, but they might be able to ally with, with the Empire. I actually think I should probably send one of those generals back to babysit that, that location. Yep, no new units for Bretonia just yet. Now, the war with Gisero itself, though, might be costly, depending on what they're doing here. Oh. So I guess that's the, that's the question. Should I go get Castle Artois right now, or should I trespass, yeah. make them mad, and go for Blackstone Post? As long as here the they go. Point. Here they go. What? They just all hate me. They just all hate me. It's because you're smelling. You're a scary pirate. We're declaring war. They're calling you. We're going to declare war on you and you. Mm-hmm. I have to defend my right to exist. The pheasants are particularly plump in Artois oh, this book. season. Uh, you remember that book that I had? I used to write down the slights you and Gassy used to do to me. <laughs> what? 200, 200 chivalry? Why is that? Uh, where did um, I put the book? Oh, gee, that's a shame. I wonder who got rid of that faction. It wasn't me. It's pretty good timing for that. Yeah, I'm trying to get my auto resolves in while I can because it's going to be really brutal once they start. I bet it's going to not Let's give us the resolve. Die. I hope it does, but I don't think it will. Pirate victory. Collect for you. We have to continue siege. But Gisero's right there. Do something. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, random question, Burke. Where are you at right now? I uh, just want to say hello. I'm in Southlands. All right, I'm coming. Just south of you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, I'm coming. <laughs> you weren't there! I'm kind of thinking about kicking there. out the other two generals, though, again, to to put 500 more bucks per turn on in my wallet. And spend a couple of turns just making money. Anyway, they kind of stink. They do stink, but it's our I'll take that. stink. Look, I visited the them. Beastmen once, and they showed me their rock, and it was covered in shit, and I just... I want to go back. You just don't get it. Castle Artois is ours! So and Gisero has been abandoned. Do we need, we'll, what we'll is happening? Get, uh, and we got our Royal Pegasus on King Lewin. That's now. early no and... Well, not early. You know, right Finally on time, defense. but... With that block scar brand? Uh, that's very, be. very helpful. No. no, I just gotta go where I want to. Where, where did the Gisero army go? I think he probably went to go deal with something like... So much. Blackstone Fortress. Which makes me think I should just jump for Gisero right now. What do you think, chat? Do you think our uh, auto resolve will be? They could be. I mean, they could be an ambush stance. I suppose. What do you think the odds are that the AI is an ambush stance right there? Yeah, he's at he's at war with the Barrow Legions. He's probably over there. I feel like I should take it. I feel like I should do it. I think this is a prime opportunity. Let's see. Any levels first before anything happens? Prophetess of Life got this. Uh, we'll take two levels of, of tenth share for, in, for income generated plus 8% from farms. Well, if you take their last keep, does that remove their army? Holy it doesn't shit. remove their army, but it starts to make them start to take attrition until they take a town, which they presumably won't be able to. Oh, Gisero's Giser, garrison's actually... All right, we're coming up on our first oh. ten turns. So uh, I don't know if we should, so chat. Good. I don't know if we should. Oh, Lewin got his level. Irrepressible spirit. That's big casualty replenishment. And That's my new start unit. getting lightning strike. Terror duck. Damsel got a level. Mm. Replenish it troops and steel technology. I mean, uh, if I were the empire, there we go Sorry, for more buddy. income from farms. Are you suggesting that the empire makes the Bretonians oh, pay for a wall? Possibly, yeah. A paltry sum. Perhaps I can donate some of my vast swaths wow, of gold. If it will help our friends, <laughs> send regards to your Sigma. Hey, Toast. You know, maybe we should talk. Hey, I, I took care of that orc problem. You replaced an orc problem for a... No, I didn't repl... No, 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 no. I didn't yeah. take any of those buildings. Oh, I'll have you know I just took their blood. Oh, just the blood. Okay. And maybe their skulls. I gotta get back to there. Oh, man. No, we the join. We couldn't get him in. Preemptive. 
Aggression without wow. evidence. This could also go in the book. Oh man, and nasty skulkers galore. Those are not nice to dwarves. I, honestly, I think uh, your best bet is probably you set up right here on this damn mountain. <laughs> I, I don't know where else you could set up, dude. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. This is totally going in the book. Yeah, at least you'll have, uh, you know, this. Wow, look at the lighting on the bridge. Here. Hmm? The bridge looks beautiful behind the goblins. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't need I don't need units, uh, Heller. I've got reinforcements. I'm in charge of the reinforcements. The only the only thing you might have a problem with, uh, Toast, <laughs> is uh, if they decide to come this way. So set up your cannons right here. Oh wait, you don't have those. He, he already knows what you got. <laughs> I can see what you have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I can see what you have. All right. Goblins. Lots and lots of goblins. We're playing cameraman for this guy. I mean, guys. he's kind of smart setting up there anyway, because if he retreats, he can at least run away with his army, I think. He knows. Yeah, that's true. Although I think there's one right behind you, right? Yeah, there's the edge uh, of the map right there. Burke, would you like anything? These quarrelers are going to have to put some work in. So these skulkers, I'm not I'm not talking about them, but they've been, yes, they've been deployed over here, and oh. I believe the enemy can't see them. <laughs> So they have no idea that there's going to be skulkers coming through the woods for them. Yeah, one unit of actual orcs, and the rest are just a bunch of gobbo. It's, it's, yeah. it's full thousand units. It's a battle of attrition. <laughs> he don't care. Uh, nah, the, mean, the first yeah. wave sending in to soften them up, inflict some permanent yeah. leadership issues, tire out the enemy army. Oh yeah, tactically sound to go in first in my opinion. I mean, but if you do wait for the other 3,000 goblins, I think it's just a matter of numbers wrapping around. It could be. You could also run into a mass break situation, too. Ooh, those nasty skulkers are nasty. The blood is flying. I can barely see the blood because it's in the shape. Yeah. Now, the dwarves will win that fight oh, with the skulkers, to, but... You'll need to give me the uh, the reinforcements if you want to. Oh, for you. Okay. The armor piercing uh, damage is going to do a lot. Uphill battle. Like they're flying around bombing goblins. just doesn't oh. make sense. Uh, you, uh, uh, yeah, do you know he has a giant sp uh, the arachnid spider coming in too as reinforcements? Let's go look. Oh yeah, that's a big thing over there. Yeah, you might be. <laughs> oh, oh Nito. Yeah. That's a very large what the fuck is that? Somebody took their eyes off of the bomber and it's is getting fucked up. with a fort yeah. on it? I have my microphone yeah. muted so I'm not giving any oh, tips shit, to them. This is Skarsnik's army. No, it's literally not refusing to move. I don't understand. Oh, you get stun locked when you're being hit with arrows and copters. Oh, shit. Uh, the big gyro bomber doesn't, but the little scout copters get locked. Well, I'm He's the bomber. The... Are you the bomber? That's yeah. weird. Burke that Ber forgot then. to click. Oh, there I'm it gonna, goes. I'm going to tell you that right now, chat. It ain't going to matter. Well, here comes the spider. Well, your copter got away. Oh, I guess you're right. I did show the blue, the blue uh, I hope line. Uh, you know. would be planning any I feel like the spectate camera used to go lower. Unless that was a mod. It's, it's, it's a mountain. It zoomed in. No, it's on other terrains as well. Like I, I feel like I used to be able to get down to like foot or ankle level for for uh, watching the units march. You might have had the camera mod. There's a camera mod that. Just yeah, I, I had better camera mod for like thousands of hours. I might just be used to that. There that is spider. a spider. And there's the next army. Why are they all green? No, oh, this, this is Starsnick. Oh, wow, yeah, okay, yeah. Man, if you killed him, the entire group would run. <laughs> and there is Starsnick, right between all of them. No, he's way back in the with back. With Nabla. Yep. He's being smart and keeping him back. I'm doing tactical goblin wiggles. They're all exhausted already. Look, oh, dwarfs. Oh. Fighting for more than honor right now. The last yeah. bowl of spaghetti, spaghetti you might ever have. I mean, this spider alone is just shit stopping everything, so. Is it? Yeah. So many. I, just, I just watched a bunch of dwarves get yeeted down the mountain by, I'm assuming, the spider. Probably. I, lo I love that our I love that our first official battle of the campaign is Toast suiciding his army. <laughs> no. <laughs> to an army five times bigger. <laughs> you guys said Be because someone was it because someone challenged him or what was the reason for this? Yes. What no why's? <laughs> Toast, you could have had you could have had the whole world, right? You had a nice chill mountain fortress. Yep. 
Yeah. Overpowered that faction. That thing is terrible. You had a road, road literally paved with silver. You yeah. Had, you had the strongest fortress on the whole map up in the mountains. Hey, I still do. I mean, he's gonna go back and recover there. Like it's just and one guy. Like, he still you does. Know what yeah. I'm gonna do to make this interesting. <laughs> what? I'm gonna suicide my army into a group that outnumbers me ten to one. You gotta have fun. Yeah. What? Technically well, inflicted way more damage. Technically. Was that fun? Yeah. I, it looked, I, I, it looked great you from did? the spectating I booth. I'm just saying. I'll like resolve your I thing. Uh, uh, you let me see while Heller's doing something. Heller's I got it. It's good. Thing. Damn, this technology is going to trigger a turn too early. We're not going to be able to get it. I'm sorry. Stop sure. clicking stuff! No. I didn't do it! It was an event! <laughs> it was an event. Finish it already! Take the click, Sunday! I run, relax! Can't do it! Can't do it! Can't do it! I had an event! Oh, I'm sorry! Perk save! Perk save! Perk save! save. Alright, I'm back. Is this the start of a new turn? Yeah. Yes. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Marienburg is weak, chat. If we're gonna seize it. I spent every turn it's chasing gonna be bars soon. down because he keeps running away. Okay, Artois destroyed. Oh, you will live on. I'm thinking about heading to Marienburg right now. Oh, I don't know. Or I could grab Castle Bastogne. 2,185 upkeep. It's looking pretty good so far, chat. Close, no treasure off the coast that I can see. I think my favorite thing is how they completely changed so much of the auto balance. So that even on normal, if you misstep, you can just die. One must tread carefully. The AI is merciless. They will attack you so hard. Evading, rushing down to Marienburg uh, after this chat. Were trying but a, I think, they're, I think their garrison's pretty and big we still. On Are the they fort, attacking that fort's capital? gonna be terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go for the fort. Fort Bergbris is a, is a place to die. That garrison is cannon filled. I can just pass through it though. Were you gonna lose in the battle fight? I'm basically debating whether or not to slice down uh, that way. So that's war with Heinrich declared. See, it's oh the shit, Mott I think Ford is figured out that the auto resolve. Is I gotta get over there to colonize armor. it. Because like if the dwarves take that, that's gonna be a pain. Tactics. I could hit Marienburg yep. right now. Battles, I think it's worth colonizing. Well, I would colonize. Here's the trick: I would colonize it with the second lord, so it would cost almost nothing. You called me. They have an army somewhere. This is their army. Their their strength yeah. rank is low. Their strength rank is like 200. Not 200. It's it's 100 something though. 151, mine's 128 with my existing army and extra generals. I think I have to try it, chat. They're also deteriorating with it. They're gonna declare war on us anyways, chat. Look at that. They're gonna declare war on us in a couple of turns anyways. I like the books with pictures. Here comes Bellacor. Strength rank 33. Okay, they're mustering out against us. We can't win that. It is a land battle. I know, so it's like I don't want to throw everything away right now. But I just started this war, which is kind of dumb. Unless I'm just gonna fight field battles with Marienburg. Ah, uh, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to retreat on that one. That is not chivalrous, sir. Not, not very chivalrous. Not very chivalrous. That will cost you three chivalry. No, no, no. You see, I saw they had gunpowder, and they were using those those unchivalrous weapons. I just choose not to be a part of it for right now. Update, Scarbrand definitely losing capital. <laughs> <laughs> oh Oof, no, this is unfortunate because I'm actually stuck right now. I'm gonna have to either, uh... Where are you going? I could drop into ambush stance. And try and get them. Delicious city has been murdered. Yeah, I do have a caster too. So it's like, it's not... Entirely toothless. Here comes Heinrich over there. Damn. I don't have lightning strike yet, right? I've got. Although I do have long reinforcement. Oh, so you're saying that if I if I siege with my other general, I can then attack him and they won't get both? Nope. That might be that might be the best option nope, here. No, it won't. Yeah, one point away from lightning strike too. Red may have to fight I think I think though. if we again if we uh, <laughs> deny them their reinforcements, I think we've got it. Excellent. I made it work. You didn't resort to any unchivalrous ambush tactics, did you? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> but I did. I did uh, prevent their garrison from 
working out. I'm debating if I have to have her break or not. I guess I'll do this to heal a little bit. And as for here, I will recruit. That Marienburg situation was pretty rough looking. Was pretty rough looking, chat. Crisis averted, though. All right. That's a valiant defeat. I think we just let that one go. Uh, it's a trade. Marienburg for this at the moment, so we're gonna see if it works. But yeah, we're gonna- we're just gonna straight up lose that. Trading Marienburg for nearly any settlement over there is worth it. Unless Marienburg's been nerfed, I don't know, but if it's No, still Marienburg crazy... is still pretty good. At, like, it's- if you get it to its max, yeah. Our vow's taken care of. Technically, I must no. Say, Thank you're you for the man for playing Britonia. I'm terrified. I- I- it's- <laughs> But, like, I, it's a- it's a fun roll. Look at that, chat. For they didn't even now? take Yusuro, they just sacked it. There you go, look at that, and Marienburg's gonna have trouble right there. Nathan of the Braid. Settlement has been sacked. I'm also waiting for Bellacor to start heading over here too, so I gotta be careful. Cause, cause it's not Here's Marienburg rushing to over here. I'm surprised it wouldn't let me auto-resolve that Marienburg fight. I could just get in there, but again, we're, we're leading with the other... Oh, okay. I could tank my economy. Yep, so I'm hoping that Red Duke kind of sticks around in, like, the crappy territories for a little bit, so I can just finish this up. I think that no matter what, whether, what, regardless of if I can auto-resolve it or not, I gotta fight Marienburg on the following turn, I think. Oh, so, chat, here was my concern. Since we're- I don't think we get an auto-resolve anyway, I think we might have to actually siege it. The concern that I had was, if we do have to fight it and it doesn't let me auto-resolve, maybe because it's a significant landmark or something. I figured that if all the towers were deployed and the reinforcement was the big army, they would kill the towers anyways while as they sit there. Come on, Tanji, in and out real quick. 20 minute adventure. Lewin on Marienburg. Could someone make that meme? I would love that. You had no auto resolve because you could not I'll actually attack. I've in, and I thought that because Lewin had a flying mount that I could get over the walls that would let me do it, but he can't land, so he can't actually and siege. So that was a misplay on my part. Oh no! Is it's that Gotrek? Oh, it's Gotrek, no. though. Oh my goodness! The Kazrak, the one I might just might get unbreakable now. Oh, Gotrek looks so ready for this. Oh, oh my like god! Oh, yeah. This is a nice like, little detachment. Like they're on patrol. You do hate to see it. You know, I'm pretty sure oh, this is how a lot of books start in Warhammer. Even worse. Everywhere! Run to the retreat oh, point! Oh Run to the retreat point! Oh. Oh, to the retreat oh, point! The man the, the minotaurs! Minotaurs inbound! This is literally how the books go. Send Gotrek after Kazrak. Go kill him. Get the leader! It's your retreat only chance. Point. Show of dominance! You're not getting out of there. Fight to the last man! Kill oh. Kazrak! Oh, oh my god. Hey, Go Gotrek is, is doing it! He's winning his fight! But, yeah, but Gotrek's unbreakable. Yeah, to have, have single-minded focus. He's gonna... I don't, uh, think he can even, I don't think he can even move at this point. So he's, 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 he's being kind of uh, moshed in there. Don't you have an option to make a run for it to this escape spot? And yeah, Felix Jaeger. They're, they're too slow. Yeah, they're never gonna outrun the Beastmen. Beastmen oh, are too true. quick. Beast if you guys could, if, if you could focus on Kazarok, you guys are pummeling him. A lot of collateral damage from Beastmen too, though, trying to kill him. No, they don't give a shit. Oh, I know that, but... I get to him before I die. <laughs> but there's, it's, it's helpful a bit. I'm watching the Minotaurs kill the Unger Raiders, like, left and right. They just don't care. Yep, trampled under hoof. That one knight's like, I got this! Gets his head chopped off. Oh, here comes more. That is a ridiculous ambush. And it's over. Oh, I the thought Gotrek was unbreakable. Sheesh. I thought he it's supposed to be. That's the trait you get when you beat him. Well, that means he's about to have the entire Beastman army on him. He's not going to swing anymore. He's, ultra, he he's like right very now. tired. <laughs> I accept my Slayer Oath and say it's fulfilled. We'll Shake and bake. A you week of night streams coming them. up, buddy. <laughs> Mine and Thor's too. Are they all fighting that one guy? Yeah. I think yeah. the like fact that he's poisoned music. is just rude. Well, they got... You know, animal urine and feces all over their weapons and stuff like that. That's true. They do dip their weapons in shit, I hear. Yep. 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 What's that? What's that green cloud? Oh, that's the sepsis. Yeah, that's the sepsis. That's the kid, secret yeah. sauce right there. And yeah. Gotrek is dead. I'm actually not oh, sure what that effect is. That might be Gotrek with like a last it's ditch. Po it's, it's poison. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they stacks of poison on him. He's just shit in his pants as he died. It's terrible. Oh, Felix. Well, Age of Sigmar's canceled, everyone. Gotrek doesn't ascend.
I'll fight this one. Bunch of bunch of starving peasants told by their lord to defend this hovel hill. To get to that? Yeah, so yeah, it's I, like I I, I have a chance. But I also don't know if it's worth it. I, I kind of wanted to auto-resolve it just at the same time, but I haven't really done many battles just yet, so... Very worried about that. I think tower. you're only gonna do... I, I feel like, yeah, you should definitely have gone for, like, the Tier 2 tower in the middle. Possibly. Also, I would definitely retarget your lower tower to shoot the Graveguard, not the zombies. Well, he was actually targeting the Necromancer. But I see that he's left. I... Don't block them with the zombies. I'm gonna finish... Waiting if we're gonna get this thing set up over here. How have they not broken broken? Who's the skull? It's just a small group of them in the middle here. <laughs> I love how bold the peasants sound when they're not fighting. Right. You know? Oh they're so they're so fervent. Fast? They've got they've got the, the lady and all of that. They gotta yeah, it's like, defend. as long as the off. enemy isn't within arm's reach, they're like, let's do this. <laughs> then the enemy gets in range. Oh god, we're gonna die! I forget which faction it is, but one of the uh, heroes, like, uh, I think it's like his final upgrade. His tech tree gives just like 3,000 to all siege battles to begin with. And yeah. so it's just like, you just get to build like two tier two towers, or tier four towers right away. And it's just, it's bullshit. Man, my Get archers keep running on their own beyond, I don't know why. Don't let them run. They definitely tried. But they didn't stand a chance against even the Grave Guard. Nope, the Grave Guard are That's definitely it. deadly. It just impacted the roof. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They, they, they buffed the healing on the Grave Guard. The Grave Guard heal in combat like, by 0 0.4. Yeah, I've lost uh, a single Grave Guard unit this whole time. Well, well, tower spam the lore. It just didn't have a shot to it for a while, but it was it was what we were doing before. It just wasn't doing enough damage. All right. These archers are somehow alive. Now let them run. Everyone's broken. I should do it. Oh well. <sighs> you tried. I tried. There was an attempt. There was an attempt. Imagine having a city with like these big of houses, but only like a hundred guys defending it. <laughs> I know, right? They're all the way on errantry. The, they the, they literally don't. The horses live in Re reading, towers, not people. reading through um one of the books right now for Bretonia, they're they're so awful to the peasants. Like it's it's hard to like the main characters because of their casual awful mistreatment of the people around them. At least then one peasant's got one kill. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. They're just nameless, face down in a puddle of mud. Becoming a zombie now. Becoming a zombie. Okay, isn't it like... tell, okay, you know, I'll tell his family that instead. The Imperium, man, is the, the way they are. <laughs> yes. If you're, pe if you're a Bretonian peasant, everything wants to kill you, including Bretonia. <laughs> and there are so many things that can get you killed as a peasant in Bretonia. Really dumb stuff, too. Magic. It's showing yeah. no. I'm not clicking on anything. It says waiting. Is it keeps saying 359 seconds, kind of like flashing, and it says Heller toast. Then they flicker down to the whole group, showing everyone. It's yeah, acting really it weird. Minutes. There we go. Uh -huh. nice. There we go. Nice. They keep sacking it though. They're not take actually taking it. No, I don't think I'm bugged, Azure Stratos. I think that there's things that are resolving so, first. I just keep hitting wall holes. Yeah, what? Artois is still just level one. It's not really worth it. It might be even more worth it to milk is fun, huh? fight the red. I wanted Scarbrand to be friendly, but Scarbrand angry at small rat people. Maybe I should try and sue for peace with Marienburg now. Chat, does tier three lightning strike not operate the same? Can I not actually just snipe him and uh, if they reinforce, don't snipe? Because then I could kill him in the field. I don't think I'm gonna. But Fort Bergbris probably has a nasty garrison. Like a bloodbath garrison. See what level it is? Their levels are low anyways. It's just, they're just problematic. I don't know, chat. What do you think? Use my 700 chivalry or do you use the 5,000 bucks? 5,000 comes back pretty quick. Uh oh, wild card. I'll do that. I could hit this guy. I think. Do I have enough range to hit him? I don't think he makes it in March stance over to them. 
I don't think so. Uh, let me see. Let's march them over. Yeah. What's that gig when I Let's hear? Mar like, do I try and chain them all together? Or? Man, winning a battle with without a tech tree, though, going on, gives us an opportunity to earn scholars, which are like, increased well, to late. research rate. I'm kind of tempted to not research for a turn, but I think that would be silly. This is actually the best thing that could have happened right now. So, I can't... I have to fight this one. We will lose this one. But this is an yeah. army that I can't afford because I just confederated and they've got like, w they were way over the peasant cap, so I, my economy is about to fall apart. So they're gonna oh. go into battle because we got them trapped and Red Duke attacked this army, so. Huh. The point is to just try and deal damage. And that is it. Oh yes, they're peasants. They, 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 uh, they're told to be here by the guy in the top left. Or else they'll be hanged probably. For the feast this weekend, I can't be an embarrassment. Quickly, tax the peasants. This is actually the, the point, though. We can't afford to hang on to them, so they gotta go. Either I was gonna disband this army this turn, or they were gonna fight and try and slow the Red Duke down a little bit. By the way, do you guys want to take control of some of the guys? Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. I am. Oh, 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 I see. Alright, so. Like let's say, uh... Straight up. No cab? Yes. Not in this army. I am oh, here yeah. if you want extra micro assistance, but I'm also happy to just watch this chaos. Oh, Alright, well, I'm gonna put you, Fairlight, on anti large halberd duty. I will oh. stab any big thing I see. Your job is to kill those knights if you see them. I mean, that's about it. You got some. Oh, that's I about it. But that's. We're looking to kill value targets right now. You all get to return to your farms after this battle. Your liege lord From promises. To about here is probably the territory we need to cover. My lord, I will tie up the skeletons, my lord. Surprise! We have found them. Yep, they're here. Skelly boys. For the lady. Now I'm supposed to run my halberds shit. into the grave guard, right? The forest. Yeah, do that. They is got armor there... piercing. It'll work. Is Not the forest. Is there a fight going on in here? My lord, I'm outnumbered. Oh, I saw that. Oh. There's like strands of light and you just see blood flying. That's it. I actually think we should probably shift down a little bit. I'm going to need some of those anti-large guys up here, too. Uh, oh, I sent, I sent, like uh, units to tie him up. Yeah, Do they it's, catch it's him? Too late now. Yeah, they, I, they'll phase through you somewhat. So it's, it's gonna be a little, uh, you, like some of your units, you'll see what happens. Oh, I know. We're gonna, we're gonna try and tar pit him. Hold him right here. Alright. Uh, oh, okay. Oh! Like, tar pit, like tar pit, toast? tar pit. The red duke just kind of, yeah, you know, steamrolled in. Me, steam. Yep. I'm throwing. It's just a lot of things right now, alright? The zombies are almost dead, my lord. Well done! A, cu a half cup apiece to the peasant who brings me the necromancer's head! They're all like stuck in the big clump, they can't move right now. Unacceptable peasant, you will hold the line! On my way! Think of your liege lord and how you owe him. Your life? Your well-being? Your, your 95th share? Where are those black knights at? They are dying, my lord. Good. Well, sort of dying. I'm being body blocked by the crappy swordsman in front of me. Doing great. Yeah. Keep doing great things. Yeah, you're definitely getting surrounded. Definitely not getting surrounded. Just keep the front lines spicy. Well, the Lord's about to break. Yep. Ugh. Over the breaking. <laughs> Some of my men have decided to run. It's not my fault, Sire. I am uh, unfortunately must report that several of the men are not upholding their oaths. <laughs> Unacceptable! Do you hear me? The king shall hear of this. Take. Push the zombies. What was that? The zombies will push. Yeah. Fighting for honor, for honor's sake. Uh, killed the necromancer at least. Everybody move in to reinforce! Halberds, get those black knights! Tie them up! Ah! Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna get away. I'm actually amazed that they're not entirely broken off the table yet. I don't understand why they're not. The men seem to be very scared of this, um, Red Duke fellow. <laughs> of nonsense! He's a noble from Musulan! You will show respect to that general. Look him in the eyes when he looks at you. R right, or be hanged! Right. You try explaining that to the peasants, sir. They're all running. <laughs> I want each of their names. <laughs> their families will be thoroughly punished. In all ways, whips, chains. Mm. Chains and whips. Oh. Slightly out of expiration date, candy canes. Why are we not? Why is it not ended yet? Because you got arches. people all the way back yeah. there on the you got, tree line. You got arches at the back of the map. Oh. This one knight Lord, will Lord. make it. He must ride to send word to King Lewin. The Red Duke is here. The Red Duke is here. He needs a, a, an actual like overhaul and a real model. Or something. Oh. Hold on, they got him clogged up now. There we go. Thank you for your participation and your sacrifice, peasants. So, chat, I'm thinking we're gonna raise a siege army. We're gonna get like four or five trebuchets, put peasants in that one, and have that one stick with Lewin. You have the Crooked Moon backing you up against. Because more, uh, the Crooked Moon is at war with Morglum Backstabber, so technically you draw them in as reinforcements. What is Morglum Backstabber, though? He's got the Crooked Moon icon. No, yeah, it, it's, the it's the Mutinous man. Gits. It's the Mutinous Gits. Oh, so it's like a rebel Very goblin faction. Like yep. Everybody's been Land in battles city. are really hard to get now. This force. Th those battles with the Red Duke, unfortunately, just didn't go as planned. I was supposed to be able to attack with Lewin, but he couldn't get the extra spot there. So the Red Duke went down the line getting my chaff peasant armies. I couldn't get the return strike. That see, now, see now, a lot of the stuff that Bretonia does for their economy, like the no supply lines, feels like it's cheating, but that, that that actually is a glitch, right? That's not a feature of that. Right. 55 seconds until, a, like, a wah arrives. I think the orcs are heavily weighted in this. They gotta be. Is that tabletop rule, the no supply lines? Uh, the re I think the no supply lines thing for Bretonia is because the, the army, the peasants literally forage and do all that stuff. No, I, I get that, but I, I'm trying to give, like, if there's, like, a lore reason behind it. And the only thing I can think of is that each of the nobles has their own support structure for the armies, and, you know, lore-wise, they, they make camp, they have foraging teams, they're doing, like, maybe, I don't know. It's the only yeah, I can really think for it. Lore-wise, I couldn't tell you. I think gameplay balance-wise, it's just because they're already gimped by peasant economy restrictions, so also putting supply lines on them is pretty rough. My dude, I hate to say this, but you might lose before the orcs even get there. Nah, that's not happening. Oh, but I mean, I guess if it's a cat point and it counts down, that could be a problem. But the orcs are already here. Yeah, they need to no, run. <laughs> we need to run all the way across the map, though. Yeah, that's but, but unless unless you you take the thing and it counts down, which you could yeah, do. Well, you know what? Get, just get all those get, get all them dwarfy boys up there and hold that choke. Like point. all you gotta do is hold the choke point. Do what dwarves do. Get in the line. Wait for the crumpin' to come. This unlikely alliance. Why are the orcs coming to help? Because they're at war with, with uh, Skarsnik, and they happen to be within range of the battle, so they get pulled in as reinforcements. Oh. Interesting. Just, just total war things, man. I mean, they, there have been alliances like that before. The dwarves and greenskins have put aside their differences to fight Skaven. For example, I mean, if, if Vlad it's von scary, Karstein right. is willing to team up with the Empire, anything's possible. I mean, Cathay and Tomb Kings allied to kill Nagash. Are you back able in the to day. sell that tower up top, the piercing tower, right in the middle of the map? That sell is it? not where you want to be when they charge. Yeah. Oh boy. Why would I sell it? Um, Boom. because I I can build a tier four one in like 200 supply. Do you guys have separate oh, supplies? Nice. Yes. Interesting. You guys have a little problem coming up on the left there. Beautiful orc reinforcements. Tons of them running in. You see how slow they are? They're coming. They're in. They, they have entered the area. 
But now, the battle for the middle part's gonna be a big deal. Brutal. Try and get this, this traffic jam around. <coughs> Just yeah, that ain't grinder. happening. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. Hey, guess what? This troll. You, tro you like trolls? There's some trolls coming in to help. Yeah, yeah. Let's get, let's get in here. I'm gonna I'm about to I'm about to drop a nuke in there. Oh, by the it. way, I want to see right, it. I'm gonna wait for them to really clump up. Do you, do you have like a curse I'm of the bad to. moon you're gonna do or something? Like what's what's happening? Because oh, like if you're looking for target density, you've got it. Like <laughs> oh, you got it. You, you got it. Here it comes, buddy. Here it comes. You watching? Oh, I'm gonna throw this little ball, and oh, I missed. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you had one job and you missed. I mean, I saw a big explosion. Didn't that, didn't he that work? He missed, but it killed like nine orcs. These trolls are, are from the uh, the Skarsnik's army, right? Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. That snotling looks so terrified. Oh God, it up. This looks awesome, though. You know what? I'm gonna drop some fireworks in the middle. Uh oh. Yeah. This is just my garrison force. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fireworks. Brace. Test, I gave you. I, I gave you the uh, archer's test. The fireworks are coming. Whenever you get some range. Oh, the tower's done. It hit the wall. Oh Great. my God. Come on, tower. Hit the right spot. Archers, ring down oh, on these guys. There's the war. Wow, this battle is huge. I just realized that like there's still goblins all over the rest of the fort, trying to turn yeah, off the would. turrets. I mean, the meat grinder is is getting a little smaller. The meat is grinding. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping you were gonna do that, Heller. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, there they come. That's not good. Here they come. There's a lot of wolves coming. It's the FYI. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and indeed, wolf yucka, boys, yuckers. wolf riders. Not wolf oh boys. My God, camera, quit flying 500 feet in the air. This is when the gabos show the big bosses who's real boss. Strength in numbers. Oftentimes, it's fear keeping them in line. When they outnumber orcs pretty handedly most of the time. Let's start! <laughs> Moving fast! Let's scratch! Not us! Stab him! The hell was that? Did you just wreck my ear? Infamous OGA, we're gonna try. Gonna we're gonna try to, to help them. We gotta make sure that we're stable enough, though, to send out help. We're almost there. I think it was too much because the orcs took too long. I think it was it was quite Fucking literally just a matter of having like way game? too long. It's probably a buff. Did you buff me? I buffed you, yeah. Oh. Is that our wall? Absolutely. I'm abusing a melee damage, yeah, yeah. I buffed you. Oh, jeez. It's a glorious looking fight though, guys. I must say, this is at the very least, this looks glorious. Like, uh, and the, the, the problem is though, is that you would have had you would have had to run all the way around to do that yeah. though. Yeah, it was twice as long to go the other way. You see I think that the spot the, on the, the hill, it's just all bodies. The biggest thing was like he needed to try and stall the goblins from reaching the town center. Yeah. Till the reinforcements right. got there, but that's hard to do when there's so many of them attacking from so many yeah. angles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to go the shortest way because I didn't know if the timer was going to just end it. Mm, I don't think it does. It doesn't just end. It, just, it starts ticking down, but nothing that fast. It's it's not used, it used it to be a two quick. minute timer the moment you took the center of the map, and that was like, it took a minute and a half for me to get there anyway. So if the timer did exist, I had to go that way or we would have just lost. I didn't know they got rid of it. And unfortunately, my confederation option just came up as he's besieging the very building. That I would confederate with. <laughs> so, like, this is really unfortunate. I don't know if I spend that chivalry for it or not. 
I think I say it's not my problem at the moment. What ha I don't know what happens if, because uh, if, he's currently sieging it. If I become the owner of the castle, will it make him break the siege? I don't know. Uh, There's one way to find out. Works. I'm going to do the safer option for right now. Mm -hmm. The Red Duke is so hard in Total War 3. Uh, Musalon's garrison is, is worse than any building in all of Bretonia from turn one. The lack of melee hurts. Well, the, this, this army is going to be following along the siege army. Yes, there, it, there, there's lack of melee is, is pretty rough in this. I don't know if questing knights are actually good at it, though. Out and hit this and start the attrition on it. Because if Red Duke came by, we could fight him on the field and then sweep up with here. Yeah, I know if I siege it, he's going to come right back. I think he's gonna go back anyways. I don't think he's. I don't. I mean, I don't know. We've got 18 out of 20, and he's got 19 out of 20. The AI might take that gambit. Well, he's just been tracking down the Red Duke for a while. Figured it was oh, worthwhile to do one. This is personal. Fairlight, I'm gonna give you some cavalry. Wait, doesn't he have to come to us? All right. So Teller? Be before I before I click oh, on yeah, this icon. Oh yeah, he does. Before I click this icon, I'm I'm gonna just call it in advance. He loves me or he loves me not. Did he give me Knights of the Round or Knights Errant? Let me check. Here we go. Here we go. It's Knights Errant. He loves me not. All right, fine. I'll take your crappy cavalry. I'll make. I'll do one. How about this? It. You, I'll, I'll, you, I'll let you take the other unit of Knights of the Realm to, to lead them. Yeah. Lead them in. <laughs> I'm just I'm just screwing with you. No, I don't. I'm just trying to have some fun. Yeah, that's like all. Right around there, you know. Knights of the Realm. Right, right yeah. when it starts to crest upward, so they have to go upward. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I see what you're saying. There's things. Are okay. Just, and I I would just take the zombies and just. Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> that's the plan. Uh, who's talking right no now? No unit for you. Toast. Toast. Here, I'll give you. I'll give you. Archers. The cavalry on the flanks. Oh, oh no, not the flank. Oh no. That's all right, I don't care. He has no front units at all, so I'm just gonna. Uh, the Red Duke's getting his ass whooped. Red Duke, you oh, have been a thorn in my side for the last time. Holy uh, shit! Stabbed well, your bird. Um, that's. Ah! 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 He's gone. The uh, Red Duke just exploded. Oh no. Like, where, well, I'm skeleton. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's it's bad. Yep, that's bad. Yep, that's really bad. That's uh, that's morale yeah, that's, right there. Uh, Beautiful the flanks, now. everyone. Well done. <laughs> They're gonna win this anyway. You no feel chance. like one of those skeletons in uh, Army of Darkness. Let's get the hell out of here! <laughs> <laughs> the lady loves you all. The lady's blessing. Spear. Come on, Fairlight, get back. Get your ass back. Here. Come on. Or Come flank. On. Come on, Fairlight. Get back here, I don't Dad. even I don't even know which of my units you're talking to. Yeah, I'm talking to the ones with on the horses right there, alright? They're Bert. all on horses, Bert! Yeah, Bert, yeah, those yeah. are mine. I'm running away. Here, you want me to come no, back? It's, okay, it's, let me turn it's, it's, No, let me turn around. Like... You have scourged the lands of Bretonia for too long! That's tangent there. I see you you run it. What are you doing? What are you doing, Fairlight? Huh? <laughs> Try some right sneaky out. shit, huh? The lady wins Show it. Your chairs over here. With haste! I'm gonna stab them guys right in the butt. Reinforcements are arriving. Ready? The Ravaged hey, Garrison. Back here, guys. Damn. Oh, oh, oh no. Look at these. What's up, Burke? Burke, I'm I couldn't hear you. I think you had an arrow in your throat. Can you say that again? Oh, look at this nonsense. Just running. Oh, they're crumbling. Oh, there they go. What do you want? What do you want there, Tangent? Huh? You want to have a little go? You want to have a go, mate? Come on in, mate. Let's go. Let's have a go, then. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's when they start falling apart. Quite right, what, mate? Put the team together. Let's go. Let's go. I love it. What is that? It's my horn. My war horn. Nice charges, guys. Good job. Proud of you. I didn't think they were that great. Well, they were pretty good. To the untrained eye, one might seem so. Yeah. Not so great. Neat. From the untrained eye. <laughs> Burke, kill the Pegasus Knights quick. God, shit. <laughs> oh no. You know what's oh, funny? Man. I totally would have forgotten about them if you didn't say them about that. <laughs> They'll die. I kept, I kept them back for a while thinking like I will lose track of them and they will die. One, one unit of Knights Errant got mulched there in the middle, but other than that it was pretty That's cool. okay. They earned their, they earned their errantry.
Oh yeah, wow. I mean, no. they're knights. They're knights errant. They're knight errant. Some some noble son's brat brought into the king's army. The red pudding. So like Scarbrand's entire thing is he's supposed to be able to attack and move in a single turn. I have every single movement upgrade for him for his attack move, and I've been able to do it once this entire game. Yeah, Torox is having similar issues. Yeah, Scarbrand's... I haven't been able to do it once. Yeah, I've got plus 50% on top of the reset, so I can move 150, and it's just not... I don't think it's working. I, I, it feels like less than my normal movement. The Bordelow Grape Harvest was not as optimal this season. The nobles lament that the social gatherings and the Twilight Ball will have to have a lesser vintage... What else? Man, for all the for all the Marienburg stuff we got, I think the growth option was the better thing. We we missed out on so much money by so building walls in Marienburg. Building right now, and I'm gonna have two armies just pissing on their tree. <laughs> just knock on the door of the tree. Bustria. I'm burning it down. They're coming, the elves. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, this looks to be to be perfectly honest. It's I I could see Heller just this one clump will causing some. Things. Some issues at the choke points here. So much shit. And you don't forget, you got a reinforcing army coming in too. I know, yeah, they'll they'll be here in like two minutes. They're fast though, like they're all fast. So, how does the Ariel's faction bug out easily? Summon Cygors. Yeah, well, that's sixteen mana though. That Bray Scream is only three mana. I could cast it five times for the cost of one Saigor. Yeah, I upgraded the shit out of that one. Yeah, that one's all maxed gonna, out. I think I'm just gonna spam that. Yeah, those Minotaurs are ready to go. Alright, I'm ready to do Shaman things. Woohoo, Shaman things! Someone made a really good joke about the Eternal War taking 20 turns. It's more of an annual war at that point. Oh man, I see those archers. Yeah, I mean, they're just going to be set up in that ring, and I'm just going to have to run up. That's all there is to it. You wanna I just want to say that uh, uh, disregard yeah. Fairlight's advice. It's not good. You want to yellow it like Toast did? Come on in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yellow it like Toast. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing over there, Tangent? Eh? You're waiting for the rest of the army to pull up. Oh, I don't want to throw their units away. I mean, I could just, like, you know... Could just like get baited in there. That range. Oh my god. Oh, oh my. The move the shooting and moving too. Damn. It's been so long. I can't tell what the rest of the group's doing. They're not like getting in there really. I don't know. We See imagination two form. We have a, a, a lot ah! No, you got a breach. Get those spears on that guy. I managed to get in! Get him, puppies! <laughs> Could you imagine like a Game of Thrones style show of <laughs> Warhammer Fantasy? I don't know what this spell does! Holy <laughs> shit! It does that! Oh, damn. Now I know what it does! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the firing is terrible. So much screaming right now. Yes. Tree, save us! Good fight. Ah, oh, very murdery. Alright, oh, you're gonna build a really nice stone right where that tree is? No, I can't. I already did that. I gotta figure out what to do with my money, chat. Where I think Marienburg Wait, not, no. needs to go up. That was, no, it was the, he did the fight. The problem is, if I can get to 4,000, I can, I can actually, like... Upgrade Marienburg. Marienburg's been kind of wasted. We we assumed we were going to be having bigger problems, so we, we bo boosted their garrison. But at tier 3, there's another uh, port upgrade, and of course we can get more buildings. I think Luwin oh, sticks around here for the turn, though, just to get better. Better to confed Faye next turn. I'm going to use, um, probably, uh, oh damn, that's bad. I'm like, Bretoni is not going to be looking so good over here. 
Toast, I just want you to know I'm probably gonna kill Carrot Gate Peaks in the next three turns. Pay that up. Thanks. Oh. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's happening. It's been a fun night so far, though, huh, chat? Looking forward to the rest of where this goes. They finally give us military access. Oh, there it is. Am I, like, playing by myself? I don't see the player list on the side anymore. You probably hit a button to hide it. Okay. The yeah. toggle, the top left, is the full, it's the last one. Let's take a look at how this stuff is going. Oh, oh, she oh, still oh, has oh, her oh, Grail Knights. Another 20 stack, what you doing? She still well, has her Grail that. Knights, chat. Throw it at Grom. I'm not gonna get there in time. Oh, yeah, like, I could start the war yeah, with Grom know. this turn. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming down to kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna eat oh him, dude. God. But, like, she actually can't move this oh, turn. You don't I, I don't want your money. I only want skulls. What is your what is your $1,000 to my $1 million, to, like, debt that I'm in? All right. Ah, I finally found the land of baguettes and French women. And also ravaging hordes of beastmen and orcs <laughs> and wood elves and whatever. Yo, Loa, and sign this trade agreement. Free money. Oh, hello there. We have the finest wares of marble and salt and wood and furs and a bunch of other crap I stole from the dark elves. Wonderful. Armored in faith. It's all stolen. I mean, totally legitimate hard labor made those you? goods. Man, not at all rough. dishonorable. Oh no, I can tell the 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 high elves. They are a fine people. <laughs> the craftsmanship. The craftsmanship of their of their pillaged, is, plundered is top notch. I certainly didn't steal all of it from Clark or on to Nagre. What? Yeah, I think I gotta disband like this entire <laughs> army. Unfortunately. All right, chat. Well, we saved our upkeep. And we've broken even, and our peasant economy is better. He's in New York, our upkeep in is North stalled America. now, though. Yeah, if you zoom so this out is the problem. We're going to need to make some moves. You see, like, the donut? Well, He's like, no, the donut. I sent one hero agent unit down there to get vision of you guys so I could sign trade agreements, and now I'm sending him back. I, I kind of didn't want this extra army here, but I guess we'll be able to start... Yeah. Moving on, Understand massive Orcal, and Empire. I kind of just want to deliver the Fae Enchantress's stuff to King Lewin. Not hurting nobody. Just stealing some trinkets from some lizards. Nobody like lizards anyway. Did anyone forget nice. to ready up? No, mm, moving. Oh no, it's it's tangent and Fairlight, so they're probably like doing some deep Sorry, do it, doing some stuff. Oh, it just wouldn't let me click the end turn button. I'm good. Oh, okay. We, we fought five battles and it took the first three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two hours. I mean, I'm I'm intentionally taking huge losses because it's like I could just fight every single battle and literally just send Scarbrand and only Scarbrand in and win every fight. Army People are afraid to fight manually after Tangent pulled out that defensive yeah, victory I mean, during the last stream. <laughs> yeah, after we killed no, Archeon. It, it wouldn't let me intervene yep. on the army that was. Is Grom already ravaging? Yeah, the, Grom's working on Castle Bestone. No, yeah, I mean, you can't back them up if you're at war with the defender. No, that's what I'm saying is I wasn't, and then I attack. it would not let me attack as Scarbrand. I'm wondering if I just have to be at war with him. I, yeah, like, at this point, I'm not even sure what you're saying. What, what I'm saying okay, is so like, there if, was if a defending? Between, if there's yeah. a fight between two armies, and you are neutral with one, but you're at war with the other, you can join the fight and, uh, with the person destroyed. you are neutral toward and gang up on the other guy. Yeah, so... With, without when being I allied. When I tried to do that, it wouldn't let me fight the army that was attacking, even though I was at war with them and not with the defender. I had to declare war on the defender to attack the attacking army, then attack the defender. I don't know there if that's like been, a... There must have been like some weird zone of control type thing, because I've already yeah. done it in this campaign. I was neutral towards... Uh... Uh, the, um, I feel like I should put a, someone in this base here. Faction, that that is treasure down there, and it is so tempting. Fight, even though we weren't it is so life. tempting to go for. That's Fest fighting Festus out there? Festus seems uh, mean. Go up north. I'm trying to get up there to help you, but I'm just like, it's an undead nightmare. Yeah. And Beastman nightmare where I am. Yep. Festus? You find a Festus? And Greenskin nightmare. I'm getting, I'm getting the quintessential Bretonian experience right now. I need to meet him so I can become allies. I got the I'm Tomb Kings. Right. How are they doing down there, by the way? Are they thriving or are they, they kind of, eh? 
The Tomb Kings? Yeah. They were pushing towards my turf and my shiny rocks, so I murdered them. <laughs> oh. Now they're one army less. Cetra's taking everything down rock. south, by the way. It's so, all we have. Heller. Big rock. Heller, you said you had nine armies. Are you talking 20 stacks or like five or six units apiece? Oh, they, I'm, I'm talking about AI, too. Oh, How many? Like your, like your vassals running around? Yep. I have three twenties. Um, kind of lost some to the rats, but you know, rats. Wait, how rats. many twenty stacks did you have before you lost them? Oh, the one was a little rotten. So, so you're I telling me that I should consider died. keeping I just suicided this guy. This beast man alive because he's actually keeping Skaven at bay. I actually didn't want to unite all of Bretonia. I wanted to kinda of like just build tall. But now we're kinda of getting into I'm a situation where now. We, de we need to get these other ones. What time zone? Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> I believe in you. You just, you just I, keep, I, pay keep paying I did, me. I did what I could, Toast. I pointed you in the right direction. All right. I, I just haven't I been able to expand. Every, every, I think everything went wrong with that super, I, I did not super ballsy not auto-resolve. I armies and die repeatedly. <laughs> totally forgot the Green Knight. I never get to summon him. I don't think he's that good, though. I mean, how, how good can just one hero be when it comes to summoning him in? Like, I don't think he's got fast attacks or anything. He's just ethereal. Which is pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal. All right, anywho, raids, raids going out. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for stopping on in. Thank you very much. We'll catch you tomorrow. Thank you to my to my awesome mods who, who stayed the night with us. And uh, again, tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Time for day two. Thanks for stopping in, guys. We'll see you next time.